how to use similar web similar web tutorial hello and welcome to our channel webwiz in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to use similar web similar web tutorial so please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial so the first thing that we need to do is to open your browser and go to, to similarweb.com and from here you will see the details if you scroll down below and as you can see these platforms offer some features for digital research, digital marketing, shopper intelligence, stock intelligence, sales intelligence, in which for digital research, it offers benchmarking, website and apps analysis, industry research, and audience research. While for digital marketing, it offers a competitive analysis, SEO and PPC, affiliate marketing, and advertising. However, for shopper intelligence, it offers a customer journey a brand performance, product optimization, and on-site search. While for stock intelligence, it offers investment ideation, investment monitoring, forecasting, and due diligence. While for sales intelligence, it offers lead generation, lead enrichment, sales engagement, and account monitoring. Well, if you scroll down below, you will see the other details about this website, including the trusted by the best and brightest digital brands platform that can be accessed in this similarweb.com. And as you can see below, it also says here that you could get a traffic meter free for your browser, in which you can access the behind the scenes analytics for every site online using the similar web traffic meter browser extension. And if you want to get the extension, can you click this button that says get our free extension. And aside from that, Using this platform, you could access the definitive ranking of the digital world in which you can check out the world's leading digital brands and how they stock up. So you can basically discover the ranking of digital brands or platform. And aside from that, you could also get accredited if you're looking to improve website monetization, attract new investors, and discover new partners and channels. And you can even partner with similar web so your public traffic ranking reflects your real-world success. Well, if you scroll down below, you can also follow the traffic to Ultimate Insight. And you can see the details below on how to do it. And below that, you can also find the deep market insight at your fingertips. And this data includes the website, countries, categories, product SKUs, and many more. And now that we know some of the data and feature that this website or platform offers, we can all start accessing it. And to do that, kindly scroll up until you find the option on the top panel. By clicking the free tools, it will show you some of the tools and data that you can navigate, such as the top website, top Android apps, top search engines, Digital 100, while under the tools, you can analyze a website, Digital Rank API, to verify your website and browser extension in which by clicking Analyze a website, it will enable you to show or explore the details about a specific website. And to do that, kindly enter the specific website that you want to explore. Let's say I want to explore the Notion.so. And from here, you will see the data about this platform. This include the company name, the year founded, the employees, annual revenue, and industry. And aside from that, you could also navigate its global ranking, its country rank, and category rank. It also shows the total visits, the bounce rate, the pages per visit, and average visit duration, in which as you can see, it has 150.8 million total visits and 30.78% bounce rate with 7.53 pages per visit and 7 minutes and 26 seconds duration. You could also access the line graph of category rank, the country rank, and a global rock, which shows the data below. You could also navigate the traffic and engagement last month with its data on bar graph. And aside from that, you could also navigate the geography and audience demographics, which shows the gender and age distribution. While going back to the free tools, you could also navigate the tools that verify your website, in which by clicking on it, you will be directed in here. And from here, you can verify your website's traffic and engagement. And additional information is that 6 out of 6 of the big 6 agencies use SimilarWeb for media buying. And to verify your website, 
going to click this button here, in which by doing so, it will help you to connect your Google Analytics to verify your website performance, metrics publicly, and authenticate your website or app traffic. And after that, just proceed by clicking the Connect Google Analytics below. And aside from verifying your website, you could also access on free tools to compare the two websites. So just go on the search bar and kindly type the platform or website that you want to compare. And kindly click on it. And from here, you will see the option which is located on the top panel. Kindly select this compare this site to. And after that, just select the platform that you want to compare. So I'm going to select Upwork.com versus Fiverr.com. And after that, it will show you the two different results. The left side panel is the data about Upwork.com. Well, on the right side is the Fiverr.com data. And you could also see the description about the two different platform. Aside from that, you could also see the global ranking in which Upwork is number 730, while Fiverr is 579 rank. And if you scroll down below, you will see the other data of comparison ranking by category rank, country rank, and global rank that has been shown in the line graph below. Well, under the traffic and engagement, you will see the comparison data of Upwork and Fiverr on bar graph. And aside from that, if you scroll down below, you will see the traffic share by country of Upwork versus Fiverr that has been shown by this graphical representation. In addition, you could also see the audience demographics comparison, which is by gender distribution and age distribution. You could also compare Upwork marketing channel to Fiverr.com. So that is basically the content details of comparing the two platforms. Now going back to the homepage of SimilarWeb.com, we can now start creating our account by clicking the Get Started button, which is located on the top right corner, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here. And from here, just proceed by clicking the Start Your Free Trial option. And from here, in order to create your account, you can simply type or enter your email address, or you can sign up using your Google account or your LinkedIn account. But in this video, I'm going to choose to log in with my Google account. And after you log in your account, you can now proceed by clicking the Get Started button and choose your plan on using the SimilarWeb.com. Just pick your answer to their question, what's your seniority level? And after that, just enter your company website and answer the question, how many people work at your company? So just select your answer and proceed by clicking the next button. And answer the question, what industry do you work in? And select your job title. And after filling out all of the required information, you will be directed in this homepage, in which you can explore on the left side panel some of the tools that you can use. So that is just how to use SimilarWeb, SimilarWeb tutorial. Thank you.